and you're exactly saying. reply to what I'm gonna say. No, you're just gonna say like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? <laughs> no, baby. That's a new one told story. Yeah. You New Untold Story, two ninety nine, one away from the big one. Um should we address the elephant in the room, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> We're about to have our case race. Uh, and so we had to get painted up early. Um yeah. we both went to this the you know, the woman's here and she both We went to the same face painter and Nick's is vastly better than mine. Like uh, something was up. Did you say something? Did you offer her something? I asked for alien and she was like, only if I can do the neck. You got the best alien ever. Mm hmm. But yours is good too, man. This is, I could have bought this at Spencer's and she was fine. But now I'm thinking something else is at play because I went directly before you. You did go right before me. And yours took manpower. <laughs> You just took a team. Yeah. Well, no, dude. But bo both of ours. What are did equal you? Did you? You probably paid her your birthday money for mo for an extra something. You and I, they we are both equally the same. He is an incredible. <laughs> it's at, insane. Oh, no, and look it's at his. It. Look how good his alien is. Your Jewish frosty's just as good. She cross stitched like the top corners of his forehead. Not, she she broke out the toys. <laughs> <laughs> she experimented with some cross hatching. She pulled the toys out for sure, but it was more so what the effort that went in, like the the well, hue, we are, the hue that you are exhibiting is is almost <laughs> like toxic. <laughs> That's how good it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yours is good too, man. It's not. I thought it was good before this. I did. Yeah, me we thought Owen, it was funny. Me and at Owen first. are a team. Yeah, we did the cla the classic Groucho mask. I was actually. Oh, I guess she knows the inventor. Of. Will Compton asked me to do Sting, and I went in there, and they shut the door, and I pivoted. And he's mad at That's me. That's incredible. Okay, he's mad at me. Whatever. Um, but I cannot wear my glasses, and I always know I say this every time. I really did not prep for the news segment, but I do have some jokes written. They're not good, but I can't wear my glasses, so you have to read them all. <laughs> I there, there's this has been like a the news of, yeah, the we, news cycle I, has not been it's been rough conducive to, also I've been moving I'm just I'm moving into a new apartment now you can have them take I, them all uh, I was preparing for a noose segment <laughs> I was gonna kill myself if this apartment fell through were you actually or a news segment GNUS I was gonna behave like a wildebeest <laughs> like a common wildebeest okay this is good though. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy you did the prep work, and okay. I didn't. I apologize. All right, a lot's been going on. This is by far the worst one ever. Like, uh, I'm not even saying that. Like, they're not even dumb, yeah. funny. They're just very bad. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Uh, tons of companies have been outspoken on the overturning of Roe v. Wade. We all know that. Levi's have spoken against it, which is surprising, because you think they'd love it when people spread their genes. Like that, so that wasn't good. No, yeah. not good at all. Not good at all. All right. Jeans as in, um, you know. You did like a... Mm. Like that, like well, I, you did it. I did it with news, G-N-U-S, the wildebeest. Do you think I wrote this after you made that joke? I don't know. Well, it, it was... It, well, I said it after you... You didn't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> Employees of American Airlines said they won't sit silently as well. They may be doing this out of jealousy, though. Wanting to be the only reason people use hangers. Like the, yeah, that wasn't bad. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> okay. Ice cream manufacturer, ice cream giant, ice cream tycoon Ben and Jerry's are also against it. To no surprise, though. This left me in a weird spot because I am personally against the overturning and against Ben and Jerry's solely because I dislike fat women. <laughs> <laughs> so that one that was I agreed with, but I didn't like the. Uh, like the I said, I didn't have much time. Didn't yeah. have much time. Qatar fails to offer World Cup 
safety guarantees to the LGBTQ plus fans. If Qatar was so anti-gay, they probably shouldn't be hosting a soccer event. Gay sport. (laughs) (laughs) That was was good. Okay. All right. In more... What's that? In more sports news, the MLB are still... In more sports news, the MLB All-Star voting ballot has commenced and Canadians have hit the polls in record numbers. That's right. Weird. A lot of Blue Jays. Vladdy Jr. and Alejandro Kirk are in first place in voting, along with shortstop Bo Bichette Mm -hmm. of the Toronto Blue Jays. All of them are Toronto Blue Jays. Who, at 24 years old, is already one of the best shortstops in the league in many regards. That's right. Bo Bichette. But in all honesty, the only (laughs) there's a lot to talk about about Bo Bichette. He's not only one of the best shortstops in the American League. He's one of the best shortstops in the world. At 24. At 24. He's a Blue Jay. He's a shortstop. I think his dad played. His dad did. Yeah. But he's standing out. He's standing out. Yeah. So a lot to say about Bo Bichette. No, start, start read this. Read the last line again. So, Vladdy Jr. and Alejandro Kirk are in first place in voting, along with shortstop Bo Bichette. This is for the MLB All Star Game. Mm-hmm. Bo Bichette, only twenty four, is already one of the best shortstops in the league in many regards, unanimously. But in all honesty, the only Bo regards I care about <laughs> is a ten year old girl who is juiced. In a 1920s chocolate factory, a little girl was juiced. Mm, Violet Beauregard. She was made to, to made to look like a uh, like a large blue yoga berry, ball berry. Or, or like a large blue bear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Violet Beauregard. That's right. Is the only Beauregard that you care about. You said yeah. it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, there was yeah. a lot of things that you were passionate about that regarded to Beau Bichette. Well, it was topical because the 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 Blue Jays are dominating the. The AL All Star voting. I think they're bursting onto the scene. Yes, like the Yankees and Red Sox were already there. They're bursting onto the scene. Right, right. Like uh, the Blue Jays, the Blues, the, the Blue Jays are bursting. Yeah. Violet Bow. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. I was going to let you have it. Cause I don't think is there any more on there. China is recording. What? China is recording record high temperatures this month in one locale. What? You said it, not me. I what? One local. Oh, I meant, it was a typo, dickhead. China is recording. It's hard to do on the fly than re- pre-read these. China is recording record high temperatures. Do it more energy. The People's Republic of China is recording <laughs> record high temperatures this month. And one. One local. China is recording record high temperatures this month. And one local interviewed said there were almost 1,000 people packed in the wave pool. That's right. In one of their local public There's wave pools. There's a photo pools. of that. They are real. Yeah. There's a photo. It's a packed wave pool. I almost bought a ticket. Yeah, why? In my confusion. Okay, why? <laughs> thinking they were having an all night party in the pool. How? Oh. <laughs> it must have been. In, oh, yeah, why do you think that was funny? What do you mean? Why do you think that was funny? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm imagine a Chinese person saying wave pool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's why I, yeah. How would they say it? <laughs> they would say wave, wave pool. I don't think so. What would they say? I don't want to say it. Sound like an all night party at a pool. Go ra- <laughs> Go rave pool. <laughs> It needed work. China is recording record high temperatures this month. This is um, the best joke I've ever written in my entire a life. Ticket. I almost bought a ticket to this one thousand person wave pool. Yeah. Oh. I thought it. I thought it was. I thought it was a rave. But then, like, okay, yeah. That wasn't. No, that wasn't right either. No, that's, that's, there's something there. But I could have also gone with heat wave. Heat rave. No, I think this was it has to be wave. Yeah. yeah. But in all seriousness, oh, with temperatures reaching over Here 100 degrees, grace. it looks like they'll have to remake. <laughs> no, start that one over because this is the only good one in here. Yeah, that is the. 
All right, so we we know about China. They had a record breaking heat wave, and I don't want to hype this up. A thousand people. You saw it packed into best one joke of all time. Pool. One wave. This pool, upcoming. Yeah. Uh, buckle up, everybody. Yeah. So like that Shenzhen wave pool was packed with a thousand people. But do you blame them? It was a hundred plus degrees. Don't blame them at all. It was a heat wave. Yeah. But in all seriousness, with temperatures reaching over one hundred degrees well Fahrenheit, 100. it looks like they'll have to rename it. SPF Changs. Only <laughs> <laughs> I had more where that came from. This was you all you wrote this meticulously and specifically to be something that I would come up with with a lot of time. <laughs> so I know what you did. Um I I, maybe I would have did the SPF Changs joke. You would not You would not have thought of SPF There's, Changs. You don't think? Nah. They're you would have said or... Panda S- X. I think Spef, I know. I, I yeah, could, that's what you would have said. Yeah. Panda XPF. You would have. You would have phonetically spelt said SPF. It's, it's like a bonix. Ebonically. Okay. Yeah, I would have reverse engineered Beau Regards to Beau Regard. Yeah. Okay. I would have gotten the Beau Bichette one. Okay. Would have nailed it. You did nail it. You did a good job. Um, thanks, Kyle. Really good work. Um, today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Thoughts, on, thoughts on Game Time, Owen? Oh, it's great. It is great. That's my thoughts as well. Kyle? I mean, I, you guys are all going to events that require tickets, concerts, sporting events. You're talking to them, not us? Yeah, them and you guys. You said you guys. I just... Okay. Yeah, yeah. General statement. Um, what, do you, what are you dead set on using? Game time. That isn't game time. Oh, and, I wouldn't and what is And what is the reason you're using that instead of game time? If you have a great answer for that, let me know. They don't, though. And I'll give you the secret discount code. To Download the Game Times app. Tap the account <laughs> tab to create off. the login. Redeem the code untold for $20. And find a better deal. Purchase. Find a better deal. Download game time. Last minute tickets. Lowest prices. Let's do code untold. $20 off. Kyle, the show we were gone for two weeks is finally airing. We were gone for two weeks. 16 days. 16 days. The show's airing. Are you happy with it? Um, love the debut to an extent. Um, I think <laughs> it's it reached sophomore slump and then it's junior. You don't know. You don't know a synonym that starts with J. I think it reached. It's, it's, I think it got juiced. Ju- a little watered down with juice. <laughs> You can't, you can't water something <laughs> down with juice. I, well, you I, juice I, it. I think a lot of yeah. I think it's it was juiced down, which sounds <laughs> like it, we added flavor, but we didn't. A lot of times, it's juiced the down. Most flavor oh, is often, from, people hear the term juiced up all the time. Yeah, you go to a juice store, any given one, Joe, and the juice, what have you, Jamba. And the final product is less flavorful than a standard melon. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually so I, right. Doing a lot of juicing, but it's taking away flavor. I would take one ma- one mango, and I would I would eat it. It would explode. The perfect juice levels, perfect flavor, perfect taste. But then when it's in a juice, when it's juiced with machinery, mm-hmm. it tastes worse. So it's juiced down. So the I think it is sophomore slum junior juiced. I'm very excited for the forthcoming episode. Okay. I think it starts to, I think it might take a turn. Okay. The best. Yeah. That'll be out by the time this is You voted me out there. Yeah, been Kyle's a, back. A lot Maybe. of a lot of conspiracies. No, it's not. Tomorrow night is the finale tomorrow morning the sun's up. Oh shit. Bleep bleep bleep. But yeah, you have a chance to come back. Oh, I, I kept saying I Kyle will. doesn't come back into the last episode. No. He thinks he no. comes back in the fourth. No, yeah. he comes back but they don't know he wins a competition oh. to be in the back in the game. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me just cut this. Yeah. yeah. Keep it in. <laughs> no. Uh, so no. It's uh, we had to cut something because we spoiled it. So this is kind of a disjointed uh, combo. But I'm just but, gonna uh, leave it in. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can leave it. I don't think we spoiled anything. Okay. Um. Are you are you happy you did the trip? Yes. Really. Yes. Why? Because I think, uh, well, I did, I did have fun and I think I'm in an episode. (laughs) Um, Are you, did any animosity towards me? Because I've been getting destroyed online. Uh, How dare you betray KB? I used to like you. I was hoping for a little more. I was hoping for a little more of that. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) 
Were you um, getting any like DMs no, like fuck Nick or no, no, because it's not happening. Um, there was no, I was, I was legitimately irate and I had no one, I, I didn't have a vessel to, I feel like when you're angry, you feel like you need someone to blame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because the alternative is your own brain, which yeah. is scary. Scary. So I, I wasn't mad at you. I was mad that would you, I was If you would have trip. won and you were the captain, would you have bounced me? The, um, I don't know. I, I agree with, I agree with you doing that. Oh yeah. I remember the immediate reaction was, all right, fuck yes. I can have fun. I can go to the happy hour. I can sleep in a hotel. So I was pumped, but it was just five days into it. The yak was taken off. They were yeah. on a new run. They were on a hell of a run. I was watching that and I was like, I, now I'm just following around and can't be in content. And that's just, we missed, you were uh, getting screamed we, at. We like, missed Frank's poop. Yeah, we missed Frank, the, the whole pooping thing. Um, Maybe it was for the best. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't think I would have contributed. Yeah. No, it's a great show, though. It was fun to watch. Yeah, but like, even after we were done competing, they didn't give you a swing on any of the competitions, did they? No, but I could have if I wanted to. Really? I showed up to the balloon one three hours early. You did, but then they screamed at you when you were like kind of visible. I, he was, was like, it was, it was yeah. this own, big in the background. It was my own fault. Like I sh can't be on camera. No, Simple it wasn't. You were a half no, mile from the competition, and they away. called was, you on the phone yeah, to get out of laps, frame. You're on a farm. You're I running was laps. still loitering in frame. I forgot how big frames can be. It was a stomp, not a yeah. loiter. So I, I was, I was bitter, and I was irate <laughs> that I was on this trip without getting any screen time. Yes, I don't disagree with his move. No, but the thing is, like you and I are always like treated equally. Look at our face paint. <laughs> You somehow got, yeah, you probably paid her more. I, she was cool to me. And that makes no sense to me. <laughs> He's not fucking her. He, he has to be. He I'm can't not, be. I, I, that I is mean, a perfect he alien. He doesn't. That is a perfect alien. It's a perfect. Oh. It's not just, it's not the alien. It's the hue. Oh. It's, it's the shading it's for like me. A, it's, it's like a the, radioactive highlighter hue that cannot be She sprayed learned. an aura. Is that, there, they look like real diamonds on your, yeah, she used, on the she, skin. Yeah, she sprayed an aura. Okay. So it was like this new thing. Mm -hmm. Also, did she do your hair? I think she did his hair. <laughs> she made him up to look as good as possible. Look at him. It's a good look. Where is she? She And she also, she was fantastic. She was very nice. Did you have a hat on today? Yeah, all day. That's not hat hair. No, yeah, she redid She did hair. your hair. You know what else she did? She claimed that her friend invented this. Yeah, the not, Groucho not mask. This, not she, the wait. paint. She <laughs> claims that her friend invented the Groucho mask. How old is her friend? Her friend is her age and currently alive. No, then. This is... This no, the person who invented that has probably been dead for 80 years. Wasn't this, this the was original a, mask? It was, it was, the, Groucho it was the first Marx. disguise. But yeah, it was in like silent movies, correct? Yeah, it was the first yeah, disguise. Yeah, it predates audio. You want me to grab her? No, she was nice. I, no, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to her All right, later. No, say this. Did you, did you say anything that or do anything that would maybe so, manufacture a better face paint? I went in and I asked if she could make me purple Nick. And she said, that's one of the most popular ones. Well, purple Nick is huge. I, okay. So, and she was like, I can't do that. And I said, why? She's like, it's too easy. And so I asked for alien. And she said, she pulled up a photo uh, of an alien. It was very, very um, elementary looking. It looked mm -hmm. like a, a, something that would be hanging on a parent's fridge. And I said, that's good. And she said, no, it's not. <laughs> and uh, she started doing my face paint. And she was like, oh, this beard is perfect for like, the, do you, I can shape the head of the alien. And she, I was like, go ahead and do it. And she did it. And she said, oh, you, I need to do the neck. I said, what? She's like, I need to, I need to neck you. And I said, okay, that's fine. That's she fine. offered that up or did you like prompt her? She, uh, she offered to neck me. And, uh, and then she also got <laughs> real deep in my ear holes. She got your ear holes? She got, oh, she got your ears. And the holes all the way in. I mean, it, that. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. Man. Ours, look, ours look bad. The thing is, you were running out of time when she did yours. No, I wasn't. Before me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. I made sure. Well, she must have been tired because I was the first one she did. She was tired because you were the first one you did. She did way more on Kyle. We just immediately sweated off. <laughs> no, she did say like, oh, this isn't coming up as opaque as I expected. Are you wearing any type of foundation? <laughs> no, no. Did she say that? She <laughs> no uh, way. She yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm like honest. You're a hot man. I'm dude. Uh, ironically transparent about it. 
Um, yeah, it's, it's ironic. Not, it, <laughs> yeah, I said it's it's Stryx tinted moisturizer, cognac. It's not even like the darkest option. Um, cognac. A lot of a lot of men in in athletics in various fields and manual labor are trying it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Jerry's guys. A lot of a lot, lot of, of yeah. the job. It's very funny the DMs I get. Yeah, you brought. Yeah, it's like for they, no, it, they. It is, it is nonstop. It's every day. What is the link to the Stryx Tinted Moisturizer? And then... They want your hue as well? They want this... Well, they need the hue. <laughs> it's for... Cognac? The only, cognac? There's only... Cognac is the only option for white guys. Oh, really? Yeah, really? Unless you're like very... Cognac is is black when it you comes to think, liquor. You would, you would think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Henny. Then it's the guys who are like, what the fuck? This is actually makeup. But does it look like moisturizer? Or does it just come, look like makeup? It looks like makeup. Yeah. It's makeup. I mean, I talked about this already, but yeah, makeup did. with men will be calm. Were you happy with your final result of your face paint? Well, Owen did it. No, I like. I think as a duo, we'll look cute. <laughs> yeah, we went for more of like a cute vibe. You uh, went spooky, right? Oh, yeah. Why would you guys go for cute? You didn't go spooky. You went sexy. I went you sexy. Went for sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I went sexy. She was afraid that my eyes what if would look is way hard? too blue. What? Or with the black around it, oh. um, she was right. <laughs> um, so I will credit her that. Um, Wait, can you look at me? She should paint like a strip from your face to neck. She tried. She tried. My hair was up. Uh, yeah, it wasn't taken. It looks neat though. Yeah, it's fine. She it's tried. Fine. She tried. She went yeah, she little, tried she a went lot out of her way to try. She tried a lot. How long were you in there? I was like five, six minutes. Dude, I can't drink beer, and I. I don't yeah. think getting drunk beforehand will help, but it might. I know I'm going to lose. Really? You're on Owen's team. Uh, yeah, we're going to lose. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I we're going to lose as well. I think you uh, you are the one who should actually try. Well, I, I think Will is, and I think I want to try. You're the team to take him down. I'm going to try. And what, and what are you? What do you say to people who are like Nick doesn't try? Uh, for everything. For everything, what? Which I don't think. On this like Barstool versus America, they're like, "Oh, I love how he's just not trying at all." Which I was being a competitive bitch. (laughs) Yeah, and I think I think we both were. Like that's just the nature of a very. I try really hard on very gigantic production and competition. Like we're gonna try. Yeah, I try very hard. Um, but I'm not insulted. That just means I have like a natural cool about me, I guess. So for that, all. No, 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 no. It's got to be something else. It's It's got to be be something else. (laughs) No, it's uh, stacking dubs, I guess, for now. It's, not, it's, it's disillusioning, <laughs> isn't it? It's Why? Not as e- it's not as fun as you thought. It's easy to stack dubs, technically. It's like stacking bricks. Well, I mean, it, you've but only, it's one of the most when tedious. When did you do it? Did you do- stack Ws? Yeah. When did I stack Ws? Yeah. Are you talking about like the most recent or a specific What was example? your most recent you know, W, I guess? I don't know. That's just kind of overflows into every era of my life. Uh, how about you being the star of the Pride Parade? A straight man. Oh, I skipped that. That was a W. You did skip that. It was almost a W until my fucking legs were revealed. You've been so self-conscious of your legs. It's my job. I'm not self-conscious about I am a little bit. I uh, <laughs> I try. I'm, to, I'm going so fucking hard on legs. I got a pair of shorts recently. Jeez. Nike. There, it's truly dollars. dysmorphia, though. You have normal yeah, legs. Yeah, you have normal legs. But I have abnormal I don't legs. have true dysmorphia. I just yeah, I have Nick high Nick Tyler and I all have very skinny I legs. I have high expectations. Well, I'm fucking brutalizing. I'm domestically abusing the leg machines, the leg extension Well, I think it's because you're breasts. looking at uh, like... F- fitness inspiration right and they go crazy for legs most this, normal people don't work out their the legs psychological at all. barrier but you're still continuing to wear shorts i bought shorts with the intent it's to wear them out thing. i stepped out just to go next door to the bodega i live above and i got too embarrassed to go in there i went in oh no i because of your went in calves yeah just look at my legs i get that i get went that. into my apartment put on pants walked to Dwayne reed got self tanner for my legs <laughs> realized it was a spray and i just have like a splotch of tan on the uh-huh. side of my leg it looks horrible yeah i can see that it's brutal you make good points which is throwing my argument off you made incredible points thanks man but no one else should do, like let that bog down their life you got a new apartment Yes. And you've, your demeanor has changed drastically. I'm so excited. Well, because I thought I was homeless. You, you were. And it was just like a, like a blue moon event that I got a place. 
Yeah. It sucks. That's like how it has yeah. to happen. Yeah. Though. You have to be yeah. lucky as so fuck. The realtor was like, oh, this shitty place in Chelsea fell through. Like someone else got it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, this was two days ago. Yeah. Yesterday, she's like, oh, but this one in West Village is is available, which is <laughs> it's, it's better in every facet. Yeah. How shitty was the one in Chelsea? It, the, none of these were shitty per se, but they were like it was a significant downgrade. Just what standard your, meat and potatoes. You, what what amenities have you lost? I don't even care about amenities. I'm more space because I'm a cluttered person. Yeah. So I just want more space mm-hmm. to like to clutter up, just to be aesthetically be less messy, just bigger spread. Yeah. Because that way I'm you could push to the corners big. and still see the floor. So now, like the other uh, like qualifier was location. I have a good location. So. But size wise, do you have like a room or is it a studio? It's a studio. Okay. Nice. Well, it just, it just sucks being like, all right, I made more money this year. I'm time older, to downgrade. I'm about to be 30 and now time to significantly downgrade. It's fucking annoying. Yeah. No, meet with Dave, get a raise. I make a lot, but I spend more. <laughs> <laughs> what are you even buying? Because, like, I haven't seen anything. What are you even buying? <laughs> what are you even buying? And, that, and that's how you know. That's how you know someone spends a lot. You, when, you when like, no, everyone is, is a complete shot in the dark. They're like, what could this guy be buying? That's when you know someone's a spender. That's what separates the filthy rich spenders from the billionaire spenders. Okay. Is that it's mysterious what they're like, divi- like giving what? out their assets. To. What ha- what are what have you bought? I can spend. What have you bought? That's one thing about me. People can knock my <laughs> Tell me natural ability. Bought. They can knock my genetics. Like I don't have the biggest quads, but I can spend. <laughs> I can fucking spend. <laughs> what so my accountant bought? sat me down and told me that that you can spend. Said, yeah, you're. Ma- you, good news is you're making a lot of money. Bad news, you're spending more. <laughs> You have an accountant, and I and that you sat down with. I sat down with a Joanne. <laughs> What's yeah. his name? Joanne. Joanne. Joanne Malone. She's from oh. Parsippany, New Jersey. Family friend. <laughs> and it t- you can imagine, like she goes to luncheons, bingo, with my grandma and my aunt. And does they does on she tell di- them of your spending habits? Different regards. So she's the fact that she on different it, regards. On different regards, like she'll go to bingo with my grandma. Uh. A luncheon with my aunt. Yeah, uh, you know it's a, you know what Nick's favorite regard is. In different regard. Continue. You continue. <laughs> Beau regard is taking off. Yeah, it, it is. I hate it. I People it love it. People are changing their usernames to Beau. Uh, are they really? To Violet Beau regard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuck yeah. Oh. Um. No, but like, are you excited? Are you, do you feel good? Or like, cause you've been really, pe- you've had a ton of pent up rage as of late. I have. No, I feel, I feel good. It's been, I, I've been overdosing on things. You don't, how did you we do everything have. in excess? What I have think I think with like 2022, we've, it's, I feel like it's been nonstop. Like doing things? Just like doing oh, things, yeah. going places. Oh yeah. It's so, yeah. And like, I typically, I would devote like a month of my full creative or full mindset into moving. Yeah. And now it's just like, just. Just another get it over thing. With. When are you like in the building? I don't even know. So that's something I have to take care of in the next 24 to 40 hours. But I have the case race. Yeah. And then we have the hangover show in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do I need headphones? No. Uh, just Tommy, can you clap? I have to hold this. All right. Took a small break because uh, we've quite honestly ran out of talking points completely, mm, which is usually bad for a podcast. Um, but uh, it's bad for us as well. Smokes. Hey. So you guys are both similar to me. You're yeah. both you're both conventional pussies. You're pussies <laughs> on the, the inside and out. Um, <laughs> but you also somehow managed to to. To win. Yeah. To stack double. Well, not stack double. Stack double. Yeah. Stack if, it, yeah. if it's not Tommy, it's me. It's a coin flip. I, and I realized, uh, let me rephrase that. If it's not me, it's Tommy. It's like Brady and Peyton going just to the Super Bowl every year. It's yeah. like Baltimore's infrastructure and urbanization. It's transient. It's more like there's not, it doesn't go rich to poor. It goes rich, poor, rich, poor, rich, poor. 
So you guys are you guys fluctuate fluctuate your W's. You guys take a lot of L's too. I mm. think. <laughs> what, mm. what was the last L Tommy Smokes took? I mean, in real life, we take L's in competition. Would you rather have, be really bad at life and good in competitions, or, or vice not, versa? You're not helping us. You're not helping yourself. No, what I do know, you say? You know, that's that's sort of what I'm saying. Is that in life, I'll routinely take L's, but if it's a competition. You're doing sexy voice. Do you, yeah, you are doing you a hot voice. Are, yeah. Am I? I, I can't help it. I didn't, even, I didn't even realize that I was doing hot voice. <laughs> you do it every time you get a haircut. Do you feel like we're in the middle? Do you feel like this is the room? Are we in the middle of a Tommy Renaissance? Well, I was. I prayed on his downfall. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Big mistake. Yes. Um, I can't even say why yet, but um, I tried once and it backfired. Did you actually pray? I prayed on his downfall. I did. I did, and I'd never do that. There was a point that I had to start. Yeah, but, when and I think I replied to you and I said, maybe God is punishing you because all you're doing is uh, you're hating on a guy who's just a, a genuine guy, but he's got a knack you're for victory. You're not a genuine guy. He's got a knack you are the for least victory. genuine guy. You're not a bad person. You are you are you are the an average person. You are pretty bad at times. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You Fair. play, you play, uh, people, uh, people always misconstrue or misinterpret like being a, like a, a pussy as being a nice guy, right? Like a nerdy, I like smart. I think yeah, you I are smart. Say, I think you are talented, but you're, you're not a nice guy. Yeah, that's fair. I think he is. Tommy? Yeah. Why? Because you, you couldn't, cause you're also, you're the same as him. <laughs> you're the same. You guys so are. Do you think Nick's not a nice guy either? Well, we'll see. I guess we'll let the, the fans decide. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't they been? I need I need both one of you to just descend. What? But like in what <laughs> way? In what way? I cannot be flanked by two people who have been winning so much. What Especially about, like I'm flanked by two winners who yeah. should not be winners. Yeah, I mean you could just start winning. What am I doing wrong? You just hit your wagon to maybe Tommy. Actually, Tommy's like the Grim Reaper of podcasts. Yeah, it's true. If I come on, it's game over. I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, are, the Yankees podcast was. Yeah, I'm not allowed to think. Uh, you're not allowed to think. It's a Wednesday. You're allowed I'm to all, think. I'm all good. I'm but all you just can't yeah. share the thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, were you ever on any other? You were on BFFs. Yeah, uh, for an episode. No, I it was talked, good that you hopped I, off that wagon. I talked too much, <laughs> Dave said. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Uh, never you was, don't want that for a podcast. No, no. <laughs> never was on the T. I'm trying to think of other recently canceled podcasts. Did you ever think about being on the T? Uh, I thought about it, um, but, you know, she never formally invited oh, me. Oh, yeah. oh. The tea. He was implying you need testosterone. Oh, I did. You have cone-shaped nipples. As shots. a kid? Yeah. Me too. You too? Yeah. Yeah, in the ass. I love it when you Same. grow a goatee. <laughs> I, 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 I love, the shot was in the fucking ass. It was. And it was not like the I, hole. And I welcomed it. I not the like, hole. The ass cheek. And I was. But do you feel like they could have just squirted least. the juice in the hole? I don't feel like they need to like. You're, they're already so close to an well, orifice. Nick, I, I was very content with just the the ass cheek puncture. Okay, it didn't hurt. It was, no, it was yeah, no, no, it's a nice, it's nice no and pain. Fluffy. Were you a fleshy. short little boy? Oh, very short little boy. Really? I was like five foot until eleventh grade. People I mean, don't talk. Hit people don't. Yeah, it was the worst. Yeah, like the period. The, it was. But like you, you have you can grow a beard. You have that now, mustache. I'm talking, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm so happy because like. I was like gaslit into th by medical professionals to being like, you will be five, two as an adult. <laughs> they told you that and I'm seventh grade, miserable, like four eleven. You're like almost to these. So, yeah. You're yeah, like pretty like, much. So I would still height. be embarrassingly short to seventh grade girls for the rest of my life. <laughs> 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 no, I remember like my mom was like, Kyle, do you want to be five, two forever? So I got the shots. Um, I don't know if there were any negative side effects. How tall is your dad? My dad's the uh, five six. I'm five seven. When I was thirteen, I was told I had the bone age of a seven year old. So that like they they, they would throw bone, around like if yeah. I broke a bone, it would have just been impossible for me to like heal. Basically. Why five year olds heal? They use bone age with me a yeah, lot. They use too. bone and age. I, despise, I agree with it to your <laughs> in your position. Kyle, did they give you like uh, like how strong of hormones you could take? Because I knew two kids who took them and got like size 13 feet and like stretched up yeah, to 6'3". Yeah, one of my boys, Colt, had this thing. Like effect. lanky and weird looking. Yeah, I think it's more genetic how it affects you. Okay. I don't think it was the dosage. Because Tommy, are you are you six feet tall? 
Just about, yeah. Just about six foot. He's the most 5'11 man of all. Yeah, That's everything five, about you is 5'11. He five epitomizes 5'11. Yeah. Well, you're 5'7. That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> you grow, so. But he grows better facial hair, and that might be because of the tea. Yours is a very crooked goatee. I grow stray hairs on my high cheekbone region. And you had a long boy on your neck. I do, and I, grow, I randomly I grow, grow long hairs that I just... For some reason, when I'm shaving, I miss them. And I also hear, I find this is This is what you talk to girls out of on, on dates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always flanked by a blonde. I find yeah, it very and it's oftentimes. And this is what he's talking about. Yeah, and I'm, I'm explaining to them. And then I, you fuck them every single time. He fucks a lot of hot hot girls. Yes. Um, I don't know what he talks about. What do, yeah. Um, I mean, I have, you know, a pretty, I have like a You seem like I you choke set. on every dinner date. Literally, like you'll choke on. A, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so that they feel bad for me. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, like, I mean, no, you do it on accident. <laughs> you, so you, have a set, on you have a set list of topics you talk about, of course. You run through it like a stand-up set. I but think you always get guy, pussy. Every guy he does, does that No, I think, date. I don't want to deny that you're socially aware and know what Very to talk aware. about. Yeah. Um, but like. And I don't think, I think you're a handsome man. I don't think I'm handsome. I think, yeah, like it's something about you, though. Men have the luxury they don't have to be good looking mm -hmm. yeah. at all. You just they have just to have to be, be passive, like really repulsive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've noticed that aging, not necessarily gracefully, helps too. Just aging? You just want an, an older, grosser man. No, guys have it so easy. So much easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got, uh, we get older, they stay the same age. It, it, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I feel the worst for like girls my age. Why? It's just the worst thing you could be as a single woman. How old are you? 29? You're a 29 year old single Ugh. woman. Ugh. Old? It's not just that. It's just that's a, the worst place you can be as a human being. Yeah, Why? because at least if you're like the 35 year old single woman, it starts to become your thing. Yeah. You know, no, but like, no, you said 100%. Like 29 <laughs> single is, I think, or 20 in New York, maybe older, but. Uh, Americans. There's a ton of t a 29 tw single women. I, I think that's, a, I think that's a w the worst position you can be in as a human. Well, no A 29 year old way. single woman. No. Dude, I think he's oh right. My God. Yeah. And like Tommy said, 35, you could flip to like girl boss. Cool. Yeah. She's like the that's single That's your thing. Lady. She's crazy. Oh, you're she, you're yeah. 25 and single. It's like, that's normal. That's relatively expected. You're 30 and single. You're 29 and single. But what? What's wrong with you? She hasn't found... She hasn't found me yet. <laughs> I'm having a really tough time turning 30. It's been I one day. I was going to ask. It's been one day. I'm terrified. Oh, yeah. No, you, yeah, you didn't say anything. No, I did. I texted you happy birthday. No, I appreciate said, when people don't, don't say, say anything. Please don't say it out loud. <laughs> I pre but um, I saw all your tweets. Saw yours. Your, not your. I didn't tweet. Yours. I saw your Jess's. Mm. Uh, internally, I liked them. Not outwardly. Yeah. I mean, what do you, Birthdays what is there to like? I don't, I like the, oh, literally. Physically. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not for me. Thank you. But uh, I don't know. Birthdays are weird. And especially 30. Because I got yeah. like 50-50 responses of, what, you're 30? And then I got some people that were just like, you're only 30? And it was like exactly split down the middle. Really? Yeah. So, well, yeah, it's the worst age in these times. Because, well, <laughs> in prior eras... <laughs> Did she color the? <laughs> yeah. Keep going. I'm just saying shit. You are. You've been, been on. You've been on soapbox mode. mode. I've been on soapbox. So, soapbox mode. Yeah, I'm glad you're acknowledging it. I've been Everything. getting takes off just, since just, you you were on your say, first rundown. Saying and you are, essentially you, nothing, and you just have to like have like kind of words that like put together like something. As a whole, how are you doing this badly? Yeah, explain it. If you glue together your phrasing the right way, people will just think you're saying something smart. Oh, that was so, I, okay. Not that was yet. actually pretty smart. Yeah, no, that, was, that was smart. So, yeah, functionally, like circumstantially, long adverbs work too. Long mm -hmm. adverbs? Yeah. Like what? Circumstantially, like theoretically, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rambunctiously. Mm. A couple syllables. Tommy, Owen, oh, least favorite race. We're not doing this. Um, I think that was a Bailey Carlin blog. <laughs> not even kidding. I, I was looking at the answer to the internet cards, and one of them was like, "Would you rather fuck Kate Upton or like murder a homeless guy?" <laughs> and it was sixty percent. What? Sixty-seven. Wait, Kyle, Kyle, no. You must be. 
misworded something. <laughs> That's yeah. not right. It was. 60, 67% of stoolies voted fuck Kate Upton. It was. Are you was, sure it's that's not? not that was verbatim. Would you murder, and it's, murder it's, it's a homeless in, guy to fuck to Kate Upton? It's the green. It's in the green screen. Would that change? Yes, yes dude. What is? Would you fuck <laughs> Kate Upton or murder a homeless guy? Yes. The quest. The hypothetical was: Would you rather fuck Kate Up, Upton? Yeah, or murder? No. <laughs> would you murder a homeless guy to fuck Kate Upton? That's, okay, the, that's question. the question. That you should, gave us a choice. That you can either fuck this yeah, woman okay. or kill this bum. <laughs> but that shouldn't be controversial at all. I wonder what Big Who's, T would pick. No one's killing someone to f- to fuck Kate um, Upton. Is he? Has he done wrong? The thing is, like, yeah, like you're not killing any person. If it's a homeless guy, he's any. probably done a lot of wrong. Right. You can't justify that Whole in life. any. Yeah, even if he did. But also, like, would you would you murder not, a not felon? For a, not for a one Would you time. murder well, a murderer to, to, to fuck Kate if, if I had to, If I had to execute somebody on death row myself to marry, like, marry? Margot Robbie or Corinna Koff or something, fuck. yeah, I'd probably We're do. talking about fuck. Yeah, fuck. No. We're talking about fucking. That would, be the most, that would be the most pathetic thing a guy could do. marry. <laughs> That'd be an L. That'd be an LL. That'd be a catch-22. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I need a lifelong, lifelong, fu- lifelong of fucks. <laughs> that lifelong. Would. Then you, I think you would do it too. How many more fucks do you think you have left? <laughs> till like I'm out. Till I'm empty. Till, till you ran out of. Yeah. I don't. Probably a pretty I, good amount. Yeah. Because it's know. finite. I don't think. You think it's infinite? I think you're losing it. <laughs> Losing what? If, you're not, if you don't use it, you lose it. I think you're u- losing it. If you don't use it, you lose it. Could be capitalizing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't, don't, don't stop. You're just attracted me in this alien it's makeup. A, it's, a, it's far better than mine. It, it, they're both e- equal. I don't have any makeup on. Do, what, who's do you think is better? Uh, but, so. And honestly, like be honest, I don't care. I would say next. No. You look like the Grinch, kind of. Green? Yeah, but like your eyes, too. I think in... in it's just, it's very Grinchish. Oh, Outside, I, I it's need, green. I, I yeah. need some alpha energy. This is a, uh, yeah. It's nuts. You want me to be I'll more of an this. alpha? Okay, uh, yeah. One of you. All right. That's just a deeper voice. Yeah, but it's alpha shit. Sound like Chaz Bono. Do you think you're an alpha, Kyle? I think I'm, I don't think I'm a beta. Well, there's, I'm a sigma. I've transcended. What's a sigma mean? I do what I please. I don't give a damn. I'm a beta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not that. Yeah. No, I'm not yeah, either. Yeah, I am. I, I, I will do anything anybody tells me to. I haven't made a decision for myself in a very you long haven't. time. You haven't. You haven't. I prefer being told. What Which is impressive that you still can be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of negative you energy both, out of you but, today. Calling calling us assholes, saying we're not nice guys. Yeah, that that should be like furthering your you guys should lean into that more being an asshole yes i'm not an it's asshole. not that crazy you're not you am could i be. you can be yeah all right fair can you be yes oh all right well, but, you're, but you're not an asshole very often i'm not that often i think we all need to be so. yeah so you're you've just discovered humans have emotions but i think we all lean into like different shticks to like show people that we have range we can be angry but Ultimately, we're pussies. I've been thinking about trying to become a diva as a bit, like an actual. Diva. See, everything's a bit though. Like, be an actual dickhead. All right. Fair. <laughs> yeah, do be a dickhead. I'm gonna start too. I, everybody here I, is my boss in my head. Yeah, same. Do, not, yeah, flip that. Somebody like somebody came in. We're supposed to do the um, the pre roll ads for all the podcasts talking about Fourth of July, and they, like he just walked in while we were recording. I was like, sorry. Yeah, oh. we can flip. That's very fixable. Whenever I meet someone or whenever I'm just talking to someone, I'm constantly wondering, does this person like me? Yeah. No, no, yes, like yes. Me? The word I've said most me of my too. life is sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every every social interaction is like, oh, how do they feel about me? And then I kind of flip that over the really? past few months. Yeah. It's not so you're not worried about getting wait, judged. You're the past the few months have been the worst of your life. No, I'm the, no, I never said that. You've been a monster. Yeah. <laughs> no, like you. I've been thick. I've been thick fixing myself you've been angry that that's fu- i can't talk about this more that anger is a good sign <laughs> <laughs> you think it's healthy yes it's it's so much healthier than apathy and indifference 
What's the, like, give me an example of something you've changed. Like some, a recent time you got angry that you wanted. Like Nick said, like every, everyone is like, you treat every stranger as like, you're the inconvenience and you have to apologize. Whoa. Are you going to therapy, dude? Are you going to therapy? Kyle, pussy? are you going to fucking hey, therapy? Pussy, yeah. you wait, therapy? Wait, 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 because that's. What? Yeah. Are you actually? Yes. <laughs> I hate it. I hate oh, it. I must I just said a, a, a bad no, no, no. yeah, me too. I hate, me too. Were you I, say I that's gay? I think it's still gay. I think it still sucks. And I've been wait the, a minute. I've been the star of the show each session. Is your it's, it's one on one? It's, it's all it's it's always been uh, like revelations that I've had my own self. So you don't need. I haven't been teed up at is all. Is it a guy or a girl? Granted, this person is is a good person. I think they'll be fine in life. Fe male or female therapist. I would never get a female fat therapist. Never, 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 never. I'm not going to say. I actually think I'd prefer a female therapist. I think I would too. I'd feel yes, more comfortable. Yes, in nicer. your comfort zone, yeah. you'd be more obliged. So I want a man to challenge. You need a, you need a, a, a man doctor. That's oxymoron. <laughs> the man doctor didn't, yeah, redundant. It did, he didn't do anything for me. He just, he was in. Uh, he just happened to be in the room with you? He just happened to be in the room. I'm not even. He didn't, it's just a place to talk. He didn't could prompt yourself, everything. So. And now now I don't need him. Now I can. I have the right devices. So are you done with therapy now? I'm done, yeah. When did you stop? I gave him five stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it, but it was for the whole business, like the whole doctor office. So <laughs> I didn't use his name in the review. But there was like some trickle down benefit to that. Okay, yeah, for sure. It's his company. I feel like when you leave your last session, you just like go like, "I beat you." You just shake the therapist's hands like, "I win. It, I'm right. better now." And then you leave. Yeah, and I, and I felt bad that he kind of acknowledged. Wait, that did himself. you actually go to therapy? Yeah, for, for recently, three times. And did it help? <laughs> like it, it genuinely did. It was me helping myself. <laughs> he didn't do, like I. He was a great guy, and I believe he's qualified to give these services to others. So did he even need to be there? He did not. Um, so you could have just laid I felt down. Bad, yeah. I think he should target <laughs> more. What did he ask you? He was he, uh, he. He. It was more so to say that I did it. He didn't do anything. So you just going into a, a doctor's office that said therapist on the door is what all you it needed. didn't say it on the door. It was you couldn't even tell. My uh, roommate. Easy had a therapist like a year ago it was like after his like dad had passed and his mom was like you have to get a therapist you have to get a therapist like, i don't really think i need this and it was over the phone Bull was and he, yeah. went, he went to like three sessions and every time he went on a session the the therapist would just ask about his roommates about me and, and spider like how are your roommates treating you? how are your roommates treating you and like he was like my my dad died like I'm here, like I'm here because of that yeah that's not what because I don't, like he was just so focused on the fact of roommates that it makes me not trust therapists as a whole. I don't. Well, he was a stoolie. No, he didn't know. Oh, uh, maybe you just want to know about Doctor Stoolie is gonna be like the funniest. <laughs> that's why I don't trust therapy. Yeah, like I know myself more. I get that you can like like lure. I think Shit, it's just a, maybe know. an arena for you to talk out loud and to hear yourself and yeah, to be like, oh, this again. is what I need to do. I'll recommend him to others, but never again. I'll never go again. It's, it's a high praise for therapy. Yeah. You should you should go and like just complain about. Yeah, you would you Kyle would a lot and see if why would I not benefit? Because you're 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 too smart. You know yourself. <laughs> you know you're way too intelligent. Not at all. I'm tired of people thinking that. Me too. Yeah. But I believe it. So I'm tired of people believing that. Do you think I'd be a good fit for therapy? Yeah. No. Your problems aren't like, you know your problems, both of you. We just don't act on them. I don't consider them problems. They're right. They're barely problems. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is what insane. What is fucking going on? That is insane. What, what did he just what? do? His, just, his body positioning. Yeah. Like, I, he's, like I'm... I don't. Ha I don't. We're like right. we've become like a motivational podcast. Yeah, I could tell. very deep. Yeah, fuck this. Yeah, fuck this is gay. Yeah. No, no. I want to keep doing. This. Oh, really? Yeah. Is this what you want to do? Yeah. What What's wrong with me? Are you breaking me down? I don't. I can't sit still. That's one of my issues. I don't know if that's a therapy thing though. I f I'm fidgety. Yeah. So I don't want a podcast anymore. Oh, no, sucks. It's so stupid. It's so. Fast. Um, I'm just well, going to okay. stay on and get some thoughts off since I'm not allowed to <laughs> no, go anywhere else. No, no, no. You mean you're exactly saying, reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new untold story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby!
Story.